Hey, what's up guys? It's Phil. Uh, welcome to 3D Japan. And in this one, uh, I'm back in my house again because I'm using the Einstar scanner. I've got my statue here, my fairy statue, that I have scanned before. But if you've seen her before, you may notice something is missing. Yeah, her wings broke off. So I thought it might be fun to try and scan her and then scan the wings and reattach them in 3D. Okay, so I got the scanner set up, uh, the software is running, and I'm gonna try and scan her. I'm gonna hopefully try and get her all in one pass. We'll see what I can do. All right, I think I've got her fully scanned. Uh, I'm gonna bring her back outside and then we can start on the wings. Okay, so I had to go in and ended up redoing the scan. Uh, instead of doing it all at once, I did it in several passes. So that's why you see the different colors here. So like I would do this area and then pause the scanner and rotate a little bit and then do this area and then pause again and rotate some more and I just did it that way instead of trying to do all at once because I think it was generating too much information and my computer my 16 gigabytes of RAM was not enough to handle it so let's try processing this one uh, so we'll click uh, this here is uh, Optimizing and generating point clouds. So let's go. Hopefully, it's not a problem. Okay, let's take a look. That only now took maybe f three or four minutes, I think. But yeah, this looks pretty good. I mean, it's still just a point cloud, so we've got our points there, but. I think it scanned pretty well. A couple of small areas I missed. Maybe it'll fill those in well enough. Oh, her elbow. And a couple small spots here. All right, let's continue and see if those fill in well enough. Come down here to meshing. And I'm gonna go with, uh, let's go with semi-watertight. I'm just gonna cut off the bottom anyway, because we have that turntable there. Okay, uh, filter low, smoothing low. Okay, yep, yep, we're just going with the recommended parameters here. And we'll just hit apply. Okay, our meshing is done. Let's see, we, yep, so we still got some little holes down here. But. 
overall, I think it's a really good looking scan. I missed some area up there too. That's my fault, not the scanner's fault. Here we can see the hole where her wings broke off, where they were attached. That's convenient though, because I'll be able to reattach them right into that hole. Okay, let's confirm this. Okay, now I can come in here and do manual hole filling. Okay, ooh boy. We can see all of these holes selected. Just select those. Oh, and it fills them in as they do them. Okay, it's going to take me a while to fill these in, so I'll pause the recording while I do that. Okay, I think I got all of the holes filled in, and uh, you can see there's more than I expected, but uh, I left them all, I got them all, except for I left these uh, down here on the turntable, since those are just going to be deleted anyway. Oh, I accidentally clicked one. Okay, so we do have all these red splotches left where the holes were, so I will have to confirm this and then I'll retexture or remap the textures. Okay, yeah, it looks really good. It, it did a really good job of filling in those holes uh, even when it was uh, a weird uh, you know angle or weird shape it just did a really good job of that so let's remap the textures I'll right, we'll check that okay let's not check that <laughs> I don't want it to take a long time okay Okay, that's all done, and boy, that I mean, with the textures applied, you would never know those holes were there. It looks really nice. Okay, now I do have still have some larger holes that I couldn't fill, so I'll do that in uh, 3D coat when I load it in there. But otherwise everything looks fantastic so we're all good and we're ready to save this out and then I'll scan the wings and we can get them assembled okay here we are in 3d code I've got our main statue loaded up uh, let's take a look it's looking pretty good okay, the only kind of bad area is you know this uh, turntable that has to be deleted and whatever this spot is <laughs> okay. uh, yeah so we do have big hole underneath of here um, I have to fill that in and then we'll have to fill in the hole underneath okay so let's delete that turntable. I'm going to go to orthographic and the side view. And get my cutoff tool. And just drag that out. I'll cut that off. Oop. The wrong layer selected. <laughs> now I'll cut that off.
Okay. And then let's uh, try to fill in. Oh, there's another gap there. Let's try and fill those in. Come up here, geometry, close holes. And I'll see if that's enough. Okay, let's see. Uh, looks like this area filled in. Now I could sculpt a little bit to try and make that look more like it used to. Let's check uh, underneath. It doesn't look gorgeous down there, but uh, no, I guess if you're printing it, you would probably only be looking from above. And then the bottom, again, not gorgeous, but we could smooth that out a bit. So take a look at it with the wireframe. Yep, but that's okay. As long as it's basically flat, it'll stand up. I'm sure it'll look okay. Okay, so let's uh, bring those wings in. Okay, come over here to import okay I'll select the wings oh, there they are okay I'm going to auto size or I'll auto scale. That looks too big. <laughs> see. Yep, definitely too big. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to have to scale them to fit. Okay, so I'm going to just like rotate them and move them into position. Just flip them over. Yeah, and I'll just get them the right scale. And then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've angled these and uh, I moved the, the center of the pivot so it's right where they connect and rotated them, scaled them a little bit, and I think I've got it in the right position. So if I pull it away, you can see the nub where they originally attached is kind of lining up right with the hole there. And that looks like it's in position. Looks pretty good. So uh, let's make a new layer to put that on and we'll hit apply okay, I'll just switch to some other tool like smooth and there we go so now I can try to merge these two together this doesn't always work perfectly I'm gonna try to merge with default. Okay, so that's done. Let's uh, zoom in here. Have a look. Okay, so it looks like I missed the hole. <laughs> so maybe I'll just fill that in and nobody will be the wiser. Uh, but let's look at it with a wireframe. And we can see, okay, it's actually only just slightly touching so maybe I might want to redo this. Hit undo, move the wings a little bit closer so they're actually in the mesh in the statue and then I'll merge again.
Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's try it again. Merge with default. Okay, so I did a little more work on her. I've uh, fully attached the wings. Uh, and I did uh, switch this over to voxel mode. Uh, um, and it still looks great, but it helped me uh, clean up some of the areas that needed a little bit of sculpting, like underneath the skirt, and I filled in the back of her legs. I didn't smooth it perfectly, but at least it's filled in, and, and nobody's going to really see under there. Um, yeah, I mean, I filled this in, uh, kind of made a few small creases to indicate you know, the lines that used to be there. <laughs> Uh, did the the back of it a little bit and that's pretty much all I had to do I believe and so now I'm gonna say she's done oh I also uh, need to clean this off but and level that out and it'll be easy enough uh, but yeah, then I will call her done, and we can 3D print her, of course. That, Of course I have to, come on. So, I'll be right back, and we'll show the finished print. Okay, here's the, the finished print. It was uh, printed on this uh, Ender 3 V2, and I used some of this uh, vanilla bean uh, ice cream color <laughs> with... Um, by uh, printed solid, some Jesse PLA, and I th thought it would look cool. It looks a little bit like stone or marble, and that worked out really well. It printed very well, had you know, lots of good details are still in there. I printed her uh, five inches tall, and uh, yeah, it, it looks really good. And uh, I, I'm going to make this print, or this model, available on, uh, I guess, printables. Uh, so you can print her yourself if you want. Okay, so that is it. If you liked this video, and please uh, give it a like. Please subscribe. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. And uh, there will be a link below to download this. See you next time.